How important was tonight to, to get this road trip off to a good start? Yeah, I mean, it's a very tightly contested division. Um, in a no normal year, we say the divisional games are four point, four point swings, right? And we have an opportunity to uh, edge our way back in this every single night. So um, not, not the best start. We knew they'd come hard, especially at home, but uh, thought we got better as the game went on. Chris, with, uh, I mean, obviously you have a, a big win, you get a hat trick, but to see Igor leaving the game like that, what, what does that do for your bench? I mean, what's the mood in the room right now? Um, yeah, that, that hurts, especially the, the way Igor's been playing. Um, so hopefully it's uh, not too serious and not too long, but at the same time, we got some very capable goalies who uh, I'm sure are ready to step up and help us win games. Chris, you know, given the circumstances the team is under, no Panarin, no Truba, and with Zibanejad having some struggles offensively, what has been your mindset as a veteran in feeling the need to step up? How have you approached that challenge? I mean, nothing changes. You're going to have ups and downs over the course of the year. Um, you're going to have guys who uh, aren't in the lineup who normally re uh, help you win games. I think every single team's going through it with a condensed schedule and with the state of the world and the coronavirus. So, um, I mean, it, may, it just might be a little more um, magnified, obviously, with the number of games that we're playing. Uh, but I think the guys are doing a, a great job and of, of, of stepping up and, and taking taking that responsibility and running with it. Yeah, Chris, the other night, uh, David Quinn said that earlier in the year, you were feeling the weight of the leadership, you know, doing a lot, trying to be that leader, be be that guy, and it might have impacted your play. Has that, you're still leading, but is it, have you found the balance, I guess, uh, for this particular season and in, in the unique circumstances? Um, I don't mean to disagree with the coach, but I don't necessarily think that was true. Um, I think at times I might have been a little too structure conscious and uh, really trying to limit the the chances that some of those top lines were getting um, not that we're not focusing on Dean now but um, I think as, as a group we took a step back to, to hopefully take a couple steps forward we weren't a strong team defensively last year and it's something that we all needed to focus on young guys and vets alike um, and I think we've we've improved on that and we have to continue to improve on that um, but in a lot of ways I think we you know we took one step back to take a couple forward and and hopefully we continue to build on that because um, if you don't defend hard and don't defend well, you're not going to have a lot of success in this league and you're definitely not going to have a lot of success come playoff time. Chris, is, uh, as hot as you have been, uh, it looks like Alexi has been uh, been sort of putting some a string of points together too. What are you seeing from him and, and, and you know, how much uh, growth have you seen in his game in the last four or five games or whatever? I mean, there's another guy who is very uh, defensively responsible and conscious during the season and wanted to play the right way. and. Um, I mean, I was so impressed early on by the little things he was doing in the D zone, and uh, you just you knew the offense was there, and that the offense was was going to come along. And um, he's just a very even keeled, even keeled player. Um, I mean, all he all he cares about is winning. Um, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, and that's that's infectious for our group um, to see that in a young guy, see that in a first overall pick. And um, yeah, I mean, he's he's feeling it right now, and you can see just how much skill he has. Um, I mean, a lot of you guys have, have been mentioning Mika, but I, I think I think that whole line has been playing so well. I think Mika's been playing really well. I mean, the, the guy scored 40 in how many games last year? Um, he, people, people, you know, he's, he's no secret. He gets isolated, and um, he's opening up a ton of space for those guys, and he's, he's, he's working his butt off, um, doing an unbelievable job in the penalty kill and helping us win hockey games. So um, no offense to you guys, but I'm sick of hearing that narrative. Um, I think he's been doing a terrific job. That whole line has, and they're working really hard, and and they're uh, they're starting to develop a little bit of chemistry. I mean, we didn't have preseason; it's a shortened season, so um, guys are communicating and working through it. And like I said, the guys are taking that responsibility and trying to run with it. So, hopefully, continue to build on that.